Right, it's time for some more Super Five Nights at Freddy's. I can't wait to play more of this. Oh. So we're going to be going for another ending for this game. So let's get into this. I mean, there's no point waiting around. We may as well start. So we're going to be going for the ending, not the abandoned ending. And I have a fan page that has a guide on how to get it so we can get it. So let's hop into the story. Of course, yeah. Skip intro. Okay, good, good. Okay, we can skip the intro. That is good. Because <laughs> that takes ages. All right. Set into night one. I'm going to deal with all the text again, but it is what it is. Into the game we go. Oh, yeah, control, right. I forgot about that. Jump, jump. Well, no, I should go through the middle. Because then I can cut through the party rooms. And then I'm there. And let's go to Shadow Bonnie. Okay, so we're, we're gonna get, we're gonna talk to Shadow Bonnie and then we're going to go to the Night Guard. Oh, there we go, save me. Yes, let's do it. We're gonna save you. So we gotta deal with this text again from the, you know what? For like these kind of ending exclusive texts, I'm gonna read through them. I have been watching since back then. I need your help. Something is tormenting me. Find my death report from 198. Was it ever filed? I don't know. And where do I find this death report? It has to be in this establishment somewhere. Also, I don't remember my voices for every character, so bear with me. Maybe they kept some of the paperwork from the old location. I'll do what I can. Don't go anywhere in the meantime. Well, you can't. All right, here we go. So we're gonna talk, we're gonna go to the night guard first and then we're gonna get the paper. Cause we may as well, otherwise we'll just be scrambling between the two areas. May as well get this one out of the way. You know, I'm just going to skip through these cutscenes as well, un unless you want to see them, which I, I can't know if you want to or not. Okay, here we go. So now we're going to go into the part and service room or the backstage and go to the pile of letters if you remember that room. I don't like that trying to figure stuff out because I'm stupid. Anyway, a bunch of letters. Ah, oh, here we go. So we have to jump on top of it. And there we go. We got the paper now so now we can give it to shadow body and then we can do the rest of this because i think the wiki says that's all i need to do let me check out okay never mind i'll get more stuff that i'll have to do but pretty much this was the main part of it okay shadow body please take this note yes let's see what happens are you sure you want to use this item absolutely so let's see what happens when we give him the report I found it! Was my death ever known? Did they ever file the accident? According to these papers, they surprisingly did. It happened back in 1908. It seemed like a normal day. Why do they keep cutting it out? Stop cutting it out, I wanna know a year. When my soul, uh, when my suit snapped all of a sudden, it tore my body But Wait, when my suit? No, so it's not talking about the kid that got the the springs locked when he was moving backwards from William, if you remember from the first video, what I'm referring to, from that one cutscene. My soul was not able to pass on. Part of me knew this wasn't the end of the tragedies. The tragedy of Darth Plagueis the Wise. There is someone else who needs help. Can you please find him? Who needs help? Then I can finally pass on together with him. Is it referring to Shadow Freddy? Thank you, take this as a reward. Oh, what happened? Shadow Bonnie, where'd you go? Oh, a key. Oh, whoops. S. There we go. Okay, so now we have to use this key. So we have to now go back to the backstage again. Okay, so yeah, it seems like this is it. This is the rest of what the thing is, what the guide is talking about. It's at least on this night. That this is the last bit for night one. Okay, now we go into the room and whatever happens, happens. Oh, we got exotic butters. Exotic butters. Is that a ba basket full of butter? No, it's exotic butters, you uncultured sw swine. A shelf with old papers. A bucket. So wait, is this finding the truth? Quote unquote, as Shadow Bonnie wanted. So this is where the parts of the others ended up. Huh, there's mostly only their mask left. FNAF 3. I don't know if I have to do anything else. Says, if the player wanted to get the good ending, Bonnie must talk to Shadow Bonnie, who is finding his death report in supply closet. Get the report from a box containing a bunch of letters in the backstage and give it to him. 
The player will then get a key for the basement, which can be accessed from the backstage, and that's really it. That's all it says. So I'm assuming this is good, that all I had to do was open the basement, because there's nothing else I can do. I'm just going to go with the guess that this is good. So let's go back to the stage and move on to night two. Now for night two, there is nothing, so we just play through as normal. The next night we have to do something is night three. Pretty sure after night three, we don't have to do anything. All right, night three. Let's keep going, see what's new. Anyway, Freddy, it's time for you to hang out with, with Shadow Freddy. Your brother. Your brother, toy... Um, short, short, <laughs> Shadow Freddy. Hey, Shadow Freddy, let's play some hide and seek. Here he is. How are you doing? Let's play some hide and seek. Come play with me, please. Sure. Let's do this. Now, I wonder if he's in the same places as last time. Oh, you want to play? You're the first one in several years who wants to play with me. Several years? Who else asked you? Let alone deal with me. Oh, I have an idea. Let's play hide and seek. I'm gonna hide now. See you. So now I'm gonna check, is he hiding in the same places as the previous video or not? Because in the last video, he went backstage in the papers, Pirate's Cove, then I couldn't find the final him. At least I thought I found him. I thought he just went to Pirate's Cove twice last time, but... Oh, he's not here, all right. Maybe he's in Pirate's Cove. Let's give that a look. Uh, no, he's not. And maybe you can use others. Oh, hey. Hey, Shadow Freddy. I found you. Oh, this one was obvious. Yeah, it was. Time for me to exit. Oh, here he is. Haha, <laughs> sneaky, sneaky, sneaky. That doesn't count. All right, I'll find you one more time. Screw you. Accidentally triggered the cutscene, so... I hope this dis doesn't ruin it. Yeah, he is at the exit. Okay, I was a bit scared that... He just disappeared. That doesn't count. I didn't know he could hide in the same place twice. That's so dumb. Because we caught him three times, we have to go- I think we have to go now back to the bathroom. Come on, Mr. Shadow Freddy. Tell me your code. Where did you go? Do I have to find you again? Okay, he was back in this room again. <laughs> that doesn't count. Oh wait, so when he says that, does, does he actually mean that? I just realized. Maybe he means that, that it doesn't count. And that's why it's taken multiple times. Okay, we found him again. Oh, there you are. Okay, so that one counted. Okay. Okay, there we go, finally. Jeez. Oh no, he was saying that one doesn't count because he didn't want to, to, to for us to win, I see. Never mind. so it wasn't glitched. It wasn't about like a time limit. It was just, <laughs> that, that was intentional. Okay, we can all calm down now. You won. Thanks for playing with me. It made me feel a little... You know what? I'll tell you a secret to thank you. The code for the secret room is 1789. Keep an eye out for suspicious pizza. If you forget it in the future, just come back to me. Pleasure doing business with you. If, you, if I could shake your hand, I would shake your hand. Let's go to the pizza and put in the code. We are back at the pizza, so let's put in the code. Enter the code 1789. Ooh, we got a secret room. Okay, let's go into the room. Oh, oh no. One of the unfortunate night guards who crossed our way. Then why wasn't this room unlocked? It's us. Why was it already unlocked? I don't know how long we'll be able to cover up for those murders that happened in our establishment recently. I think the police are on to us. What? It will only be a matter of time until they find the rotting corpse. I'll pick them up and drive them to the dumpster to get rid of the evidence. Wish me luck. Okay, so that's William Afton. They killed another one. We can keep up at this rate. These incidents can no longer be covered. I will soon file the missing reports once we clean the carpets. I don't know, boss. Maybe we should just close down and get rid of these freakish robots. Is this really worth it? I'm tired. I want this to end. Okay, so is that meant to be like an interaction between Henry William and, we you know, Henry Emily? And William Afton? Maybe. Okay, anyway. Let's get through all this text and then go to night four. Okay, we are on to night four now. That part took ages. I think there's one more thing we have to do now until we are just guaranteed the good ending. So, well, an ending other than abandoned, so. Because I know there's multiple endings, but I don't know if this is actually giving the good ending or not, but we'll have to see. Okay, do your thing again. But the, the, pro the problem I'm having is 
this looks like it's going to have the same ending. Because we've done this again. I didn't see a shadow body on the arcade machine. We're just going straight at the abandoned ending again. So this is just looking like the abandoned ending. Still. It's still following the same direction. Saying the same stuff. And all that. Even if we have to well, stay here. Forever. Okay, so does it continue on then? Because I did the other task. Oh! Okay! Okay, this is good. This is good. We didn't get the abandoned ending. We're still going. Okay. I was a bit worried. But we're looking good. Okay. So now he's in that machine. And we have to... Oh! Oh, yeah, and we have to go through the glitched wall. Um, can I go through? Oh, I've got a spam. A and D. Continue going into glitch on the wall. Go to different maps. Oh, we got to keep doing this. Oh, gosh. Uh, Shadow Bunny can go to different maps, such as that, 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 that. Okay, so eventually this is realized. It's now working again. So now we want to go through here because this is open. Do we want to do the same thing again? Oh, just spam space now. Okay, so we got to spam different buttons when the time comes. So now we're in the FNAF 4 place, in the FNAF 4 bedroom. Now we want to go top right, as you can see. So we just got to find the glitches. Okay, so we just got to keep spamming. This is annoying, but... Okay, so where else? Oh, that's a very tiny hole, but I see it. So now we want to go to the left. And according to this wiki, this is going to be the final room. And now we're here. And uh, what do I have to do? Uh, it's... So we want to go over here now. Okay, there we go. Mini game done. What are you doing, Shadow Bunny? What are you doing? What are you doing? What's going on? It's okay. You don't have to cry anymore, son. It's me. Okay. Huh? Everything's gonna be okay. We're going to a better place. Oh, this is wholesome. Dad! <laughs> this is really wholesome. I like where this ending's going so far. I really like it. Oh, it's, it's Shadow Freddy and Shadow Bonnie. Oh. Oh, right. I see. Oh my god. I love this game. The story's so good. There's one last thing left though. And that is? You'll see soon enough. Okay, there we go. Oh, that was interesting. Okay. Now, now I'm completely blind. I don't know anything. Because abandoned ending, it just stops at night four. Okay, so we're back at the pizzeria from the beginning intro. Okay, a few days later. What? This is supposed to be night five, not a few days later. What's the daytime? Foxy performs as well? I'll be your friend. Right till the end, join the party. Join the party. We'll be your friend, we'll find a way. <laughs> join the party. We're here for you, we'll make it through. I'll follow the pack, we'll have a blast. Oh, then it's that. I'm here for you, we'll make it through. <laughs> Join the party. I love that song. I love that JT Machinima song. Oh, sorry, JT Music. I'm just so used to the old username. Alright, the show's over. Kids, Freddy and the gang are going into retirement. Oh, because they were confused when they saw the paper. Right. And now they're getting flashbacks. After all, him and the crew are pretty old, you know. Now say bye to them. Oh, you saw the change of that character's face? They went from smiling to that. Bye, Bonnie. I'll never forget you. Bye, Chica. Your pizzas were the best in town. Are these the kids? Bye, Captain Foxy. It was nice seeing you again. Bye, Freddy. I'll... I'll miss you? Whoa, what is this? What is with this blood? What? I'll miss you too. All of you. What, someone's behind the voices? What, what's that? Daniel, come on already. They're closing. Wait, we've had heard that name before, Daniel. Is that Freddy? Because I, I, I've i heard that name. I think Foxy said Dan in one of the cutscenes. I'm coming. It's just that I think I just heard Freddy. Oh, no. Crying. Yeah, nice. <laughs> Crying. Oh, is this how he get he gets lured? Oh, now we're into night five. I thought that was gonna be night five in general. Anyway, let's see what happens. For sale. What's going on here? 
A few months later. Okay, we're getting some time jumps now. This is. I love this game. It's the lore is so interesting, and I love it. It's not just a rip off of the original lore. It it, it keeps it different to make it interesting. I, I love it, but it still makes sense as well. Follow me. It's kind of sad that we haven't seen a sequel. Anyway, follow me. We already helped you. So Night Five doesn't say I have to do anything. So anyway, let's follow Shadow Freddy because. There's nothing I have to do. Do I have to exit? Wait, so why does Shadow Freddy want to talk to us? This is eerily like the Final Fantasy Freddy's 3 mini game. Because just like in that game, that game is set in the in the FNAF 1 pizzeria as well. And you're also getting dragged by Shadow Freddy. But why would Shadow Freddy in this universe want to do that? It wouldn't make sense. Follow me. Because why would he want us to be killed? That wouldn't make sense. Error. Oh gosh, it is. What? Why would it let- Oh no. Me. Pass. Oh no. Is purple guy gonna be here? So if we're running away- Yep! Purple guy! Huh? Is someone there? Oh, it's high. I hope you die in the fire. Hope you get stabbed in the heart, or you'll be shot and expire. I know that song. Okay, so we're gonna do this for everyone. By the looks of it, okay. Oh yeah, but logically it's gonna be Bonnie, Chico, then Foxy. Okay, so we're probably just gonna keep doing this. Wait, who was that? I guess he wants to show me something. Yeah, yeah, definitely. I wonder why that's the case. Why does Shadow Freddy, both in the FNAF 3 and this game, especially this game, why does Shadow Freddy want to drag us to where the purple guy is? Well, we saved Shadow Bunny and Shadow Freddy. Why are they after us? And why is Bonnie not questioning Freddy being there? Wait, didn't he just go through there? I can't move an inch further. Oh, you're right, because the animatronics cannot go into that room. And time for you to die, Bonnie. Now we just gotta do this process for the others. Wait, is that Freddy you just noticed? Anyway, it's time for some more. I hope you die in a fire. So that's gonna be cool. Who could have done this? Who do you, f who do you think? Who did you fall victim to? All right, now we just gotta do this with Chica and Foxy and we're good. Oh, will we then become the souls and haunt him as well? Oh, that's, that'll be fun if that's the case. Follow me. I get it. Wait, where are the others? Everyone always left me all by myself. It's just not... F oh, come on, Chica. Don't go through your depression arc. I don't care. Okay, that was a bit rude of me to say, but... Error again. Where did that Freddy look like go? It feels like there's a wall. But there's clearly a passage there. Uh-oh. Here we go again. Who's there? Is that you, Dan? No, it's not. Doom, 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 doom. You know what would be interesting if Foxy fights back? Because he has speed. He is quick. So maybe he could react in time and maybe block. Maybe Purple Guy still manages to defeat him. Follow me. Who's there? How do they all conveniently, by the way, wake up at times when they're called? Like when he wakes up Freddy, how does he not wake up Bonnie or Chica? He just woke up Freddy and that's it. Huh? Why Why is the stage empty? Don't think about it. There's no problem. Oh, Foxy is fast. It's actually funny because I've never used him in this game yet. But Blood is quick. Look at him go. He's quicker than the fade out. Holy. I'm gonna beat you. I'm gonna beat you, Shadow Freddy. <laughs> but yeah, like I said, with that kind of speed, he should be able to outrun him. How about I, I just go into the restroom? Because I need to go. I need to go. What's going on here? Yarr, guys. Are you in there? I can't get inside. They've got to be around here somewhere. I can feel it. I can hear the music. Here we go. Goodbye, Foxy. Oh! Okay. There goes his tooth. And his hook. Everything. They've all been destroyed. <laughs> Finally. They're gone. You've really outdone yourself this time, William. After all this time, you managed to get rid of all the evidence. All the, 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 no, the notes. I still wish it wouldn't have come to this, but there was no turning back after all I've done. Heh, <laughs> whatever. After tonight, it's all over anyway. Am I gonna get jump scared? Oh, no mind, they're gonna come to life. Come on, can we haunt them? Please, I would love to do that, come on. Let me haunt him. Let me cook. Oh, Golden Freddy! Can we play this Golden Freddy? Can we haunt him with Golden Freddy? 
Oh, he can't move. There's Michael. Oh, with a soul! Michael, listen. Your friends need you now, more than ever. You're the one meant to bring him down. You'll succeed where the others have failed. Go to the restrooms. There will be a door you've never seen before. The others couldn't pass. Animatronics were not meant to enter this room. But you aren't an animatronic. What? What do you mean? You're a spirit. No, he's gone Freddy. What do you mean? They all are technically spirits. You're our only hope. Now go. It's time to go. All right, Mr. What? Why can I go to the restroom now? Whatever. Let's go to the restroom, I guess. <laughs> because we can. Time to horn to Mr. William. And make him suffer in UCN. Well, not yet, but we will get there. There is Springtrap, as we expected. Aha! These are the documents I was looking for. And here's the souls to haunt him. Huh? Where did you come from? No. You. This can't be. Oh, here we go. Let's haunt the suit and said. Let's scare the suit itself. Now let's... It's time to haunt him. It's time for you to get what you deserve, William. Here we go. Now we're doing this back to him. He did this to us, now we're doing it back to him. You back up and suffer, instead of me. It's time for you to suffer, not me. It's time for you to get springlocked, not me. You deserve this. Keep going back. Into the suit you go. To suffer. Stop running away. Accept your fate. There's nothing you can do about it. It's a canon event. You have to be Springtrap. You can't do anything about it. That's right. Springlock. Oh, there we go. Popular soundbite. You got what you finally deserved. There we go. We have finally done it. The spring trap has been spring locked. You. You did it. After all this time, justice has been served. You. Go on ahead without me. I've got something to take care of first. Oh. Okay, we're going to heaven now, I guess. <laughs> sure. I guess it makes sense because these kids didn't deserve their deaths. They deserve heaven. Well, we don't know if they maybe were like some sort of terrorist before they encounter this, so how do we know? I can't believe I'm only now playing it, but it's so good. <laughs> the game is so good. Okay, we got the balloons. They're all flying up. Wait, who are these? Are these the toys? And then the mother. These are meant to be like the five, no, the ten, ah. Um, everything's gonna be fine, Michael. She's been here the entire time. Still has the same clothes as well. No one's ever gonna hurt you again. I like this game's lore. It's so nice. Oh, there we go. Now he's found his parents. Are we gonna go through this for every character? Epilogue. Oh, epilogue. 30 years like FNAF 3. Freddy Fazbear's piece. Never mind. That's not Fazbear Frights. Oh, we're gonna delve into Springtrap? In Freddy Fazbear's Pizza. Yeah, that makes sense. Jeez, dude, this place gives me the creeps. Do we really have to come back here? A reliable source said that there's a blocked off room behind one of these walls. Just imagine the stuff they hid in there. The darkest secrets of the Fazbear franchise. Dude, I think I found it. This wall sounds hollow. There is Afton's hope. Right there. Wait, is that? If this is a functioning animatronic, it's going to be worth its weight in gold. Come on, help me carry this thing into the truck. Bad mis- very big mistake. Oh, here's Fazbear Frights. You can see from the iconic tone of the game. Where am I? Is this some kind of attraction? No, this isn't an attraction to guards. Okay, El Hugeni. This isn't an attraction to guards. What? We're playing as Springtrap now? Oh my gosh. I never expected this, okay. The door is locked, obviously. Springtrap's attitude going on, which makes sense. Another vent that directly leads outside. It's way too small. 
The irony. An air vent. It's just big enough for me to fit inside. Then how about you vent to the damn office? I don't want to walk there. Some old arcades. I wonder if they work. They're pretty old by now, so I don't think they would. Just like you. I cannot sprint. <sighs> Sometimes I ask myself if if all of this was worth it in the end. Pop it. Huh? Is someone there? Oh, it's you. What did you just say? Nothing. Nothing at all. Why on earth am I still around here anyway? Shouldn't I be rotting in hell by now? Well, I gave you a gift. I gave you life. Why? This man killed people! Why? This way, you were able to experience what we had to suffer. Oh, okay, so, oh, he gets to experience being locked up for 30 years. So what? He killed kids! This isn't the correct punishment. Now you're putting other people's lives in jeopardy, Puppet. I can't believe I'm siding with the main enemy now. Puppet, what are you thinking? Whatever. Okay, I can't believe I actually did that. I understand, as they said, they wanted to make him suffer, but seriously, you keep him alive? Another bunny. <laughs> it's the toy one. Got something on your mind? No, I don't. So let's go over here. Classic Freddy's decoration style. Just glue cardboard pizzas to the wall. Nice. A vent that leads directly to the office. No, it doesn't. It leads to Cam 2, not the office. It leads outside of the office, but not directly to it. The, the vent that goes directly to the office is actually Cam 10, you idiot. Yeah, he yeah, does it. What is that, petroleum? Gas? I want to talk to Bonnie. What do you have to say? Oh, fine. I won't talk to you then. Okay, Puppet, what do you want? <sighs> About what you said earlier. You said you had to suffer the same fate I had to endure. It drove me insane. I began to hear things. And what did you hear? A good friend once told me that mem memories linger, whether there's someone there or not. Oh, why did you have to... Why did we have to die? What a terrible person. Why can't we leave? Why us? Is someone there? Hello, save us. I hate him. I feel pain. What have we done to deserve this? Mum, is that you? I want to see my mum again. My something. It's true. I heard them. Voices. Your memories. Help. My hand. Something. And everything became clear to me. Back in the 80s, I actually owned Fred Bears, together with a business partner of mine. I was supposed to create concepts and blueprints for a brand new line of anima- of robots. Why are you telling me all this? How is that relevant? Which I did, but unbeknownst to my partner, I added features for child abduction. A company paid me to make experiments on these children. It paid well. I didn't feel any empathy for them. I can't feel any for someone I don't know. However, one day, I wish never saw the light of dawn. Okay. So it sounds like Afton's actually regretting, oh great, circus baby and Elizabeth. The thing is, Afton seems to regret his stuff, but I don't trust him. He killed many kids without regretting. I think he's just spouting shit. My beloved daughter stepped near one of them. I told her not to, but she just couldn't resist. Daddy isn't looking. Why wouldn't he let me play with you? You're wonderful. I'm so bad at girl voices, but bear with me. Wait, where did the other children go? Darn. That sucks. That's when that darn baby took her. You made her! It's your fault! But that was... Robert wasn't meant to transport children. And... Well, this is why you regret it, because you killed your own daughter. She died later that day in the hospital. She was consumed by the damn anim animatronic. Of course she's dead. I was devastated, as you should be. Filled with anger and despair. Later that month, my adopted son died as well, due to another fatal injury at the hands of those machines. Technically, it's not the machine's fault this time, it was Michael's fault. Bro literally just bullied his younger brother for a whole week and then chucked him into a, into his mouth. That's not into, from the hands of your machines, that's from Michael. <laughs> I lost two of my children in less than a year. Then I saw a child in front of the window. Wait, do you mean? Yeah, that was you. I decided that if the Fredbear franchise took children from me, 
It's not their fault, it's Michael's fault. Oh, whatever. Then other parents should suffer the same fate. That's not justifiable. I begin to realize why you want wanted to talk to me. Stopping me was the right thing to do. I couldn't have stopped myself from ruining other people's lives otherwise. <sighs> I wish I could see them again. Anyway, now you know everything. I see. What's the most difficult question one could ask another? I don't know. Tell me. Can you please forgive me? I can't. I can't. I can't. I'm sorry. You're William. You kill many children. If you were with kill one child and it was just this one, I'd understand. Okay. You're now realizing your mistake. You killed this child. Okay. Well, obviously, everyone should know that that's pretty, pretty bad, but if it was a one-time thing in this hypothetical situation and they're trying to... And William is trying really badly to be forgiven. If it was just this person, I'd be fine. But he killed so many children. He even killed the other five. I can't. I'm sorry, William. You're not being forgiven. You have to understand it. You miserable creature. As if any of this could actually redeem your actions. Yeah, because you still have blood on your hands. Literally. If only you could see the look on your rotten face. Look, guys. All of them. <laughs> his foul sign finally matches in the inside. Serves it right. What an idiot. It's absolutely priceless. He really thought we'd forgive him. As if. You ruined our lives. There's no excuse exactly. The thing is, for me, I would have maybe considered it if it was just Charlie and he's trying to say that he's really sorry about that and all that. I don't understand it, but he killed this many people. That's inexcusable. Being trapped in this suit is your punishment for all eternity. At least he gets to stay alive. I mean, that's nice. <laughs> What? What happened? Screw all of you little brats. I don't need any of you. You hear me? I will never give up finding her. I need to get out of here. But first, I need to burn this rotten joke of an attraction down to the ground. Oh my gosh, this game is so interesting. Oh, that's why that's there, that makes sense. Can we burn you? Oh, I was kidding. I was kidding about burning you. Douse the place in gasoline and set it on fire. Stay still and press shift or space to spill gasoline. You're done once your gas gasoline bar is empty. You only need to cover the surface. May the damn thing burn in hell. How long is this going to take? I think I've got to cover the entire floor, like the entire floor. Okay, not yet. Not yet. How would this go differently if we forgave him? Maybe that's another ending and we're going to have to play this again, but once again... I don't mind playing through this game again because it's really interesting. Thing is, going for the other ending, it's a lot of the stuff's going to be the same. This is going to be so boring. Well, I guess I'm going to cut to when I'm done with this then. Okay, we're finally done with the gasoline. Holy. I'm telling you, when I say that it took ages, that it took ages. <laughs> Oh, that must have taken at least more than 10 minutes. That is crazy. Oh, well, it's time we can finally move on and see what's going on here. Let's see. It's not letting me move. Oh, now it is. Okay. So we're going to the office. Are we going to meet the security guard? Looks like the security guard ran away. And he left the door open. How considerate. There's no doors. I thought I had to tear the key out of his dead hands. Now I'm confused. Oh. There we go. What, did we just skip to the night five of Five Nights at the Freddy's 3? Okay, there we go. There's the petroleum. And light it up. Light it up, up, up. Finally. Now I gotta get out of this place. And I didn't have to do it, so that's beautiful. I just get to watch it. Well, so if we forgave him, he wouldn't have burnt down the pizzeria. Escaped ending. Oh my, all right. Interesting. That was very interesting. Wow. Oh, there's still more. Oh, it's the credits, okay. 
and it's uh, Diana Fire that's playing as well. What a game! I love this. I love this game. Yeah, all right. Wow. I have had no regrets playing this game. While some bits are an annoying, grindy mess, the the lore and the storytelling, the gameplay, all of that makes up for it. I love this game. This is gonna be one of my favorites. Or oh, beta testing Fiznom. Pop goes. Wait, so Kane Carter used to just go by Pop goes? <laughs> okay. Special thanks. Interesting. This game, this game was very, very interesting. Now there's still another ending to do, which is obviously forgiving him, but I don't know if there's anything after that. There might not be. We'll have to see. It shall be painful, you'll see. The end. Okay, so there's one more. So yeah, that is it. Oh! Hey, Springtrap! I just realized. How are you doing? We also have free play now. What does free play do? Do you want to quit for tonight? Yes, I do. Because we're not going to be playing today, don't worry. We're not, at, at least we're not playing free play mode. Oh, and here's the puppet. Okay. Whoa, okay, that was something. Oh. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed anyway, because that was a really good ending. I loved that ending. That was beautiful. Gosh, I love this game. It's so good. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, stick around for the final ending, and I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye.